So speaking of cuts, what are some of the nastiest cuts you've had to deal with? Oh, tons, brother. I've seen them all. You know, I mean, I've seen, uh, you know, cuts that go up to there. You can see the skull. I've seen those many, many times, right? I mean, that, uh, that one was Forrest, Forrest Griffin, wasn't it, in the UFC? Well, that was, that was compared to other ones, that was pretty basic, you know. But I'll, I'll tell you the, the story with that type of cut. is you know that big vein when you laugh, that big vein you have between your eyes? Well, what happened there is when he fought Shogun, he literally popped that vein, and that's a very, very big vein to control. Uh, so, but I used everything, and uh, and I applied a lot of pressure. I used the uh, the adrenaline. I also also used another medication called Avitine, that's like a cotton candy type of form, and and you plug up the cut, and that de that dehydrates or that coagulates the blood. Uh, so yeah, I always kind of prepare for him. But uh, Stefan Struve in the UFC, his his lip was literally shredded. Uh, to the point where it looked like a shark just bit him. And, uh, and I go to start working on him and the doctor's looking at him with the probability of stopping the fight and uh, Stephen Struve still wants to continue. So that's why I mentioned earlier, psychology is important. I told the doctor, I said, look, he's gonna be okay if you got a good plastic surgeon, you know? And uh, uh, the, the guys that were recording it uh, in the truck, they all started laughing because I heard that comment. The doctor let the fight continue and Stefan Struve ended up winning the fight. In, do you have any other experiences of bad cuts where sometimes you might not be able to fix the cut or have you always done your best and managed to fix it? Yeah, no, I've always done my best. My first really coming out fight uh, when I moved to Las Vegas, I've been in Las Vegas 26 years now. I worked with uh, the, uh, uh, what was it? The uh, Raul Marcus was the middleweight champion of the world. I think for the IBF, and he ended up with five cuts, two big ones here and then one on the nose, something like 70 stitches. And I kept him in the game and he defended his world title. And that was my first coming out party because I had a lot of experience in kickboxing as a cut man. And uh, and and just, you know, I made the move to Vegas, Las Vegas here, because uh, that's where all the big boys were at. Uh, so that was, that was a big one. But, you know, uh, outside of that, there's other injuries. Uh, like broken legs, you know. I've had a, I've, I've encountered a couple guys, uh, Anderson Silva, one of them, when he fought Chris Weidman, uh, when he broke his leg, and you know, an hour before that hurt me because I was wrapping his hands an hour before, and we're joking around, and and just to see him there with a broken leg was uh, very uh, hard to accept. Uh, there was another guy uh, that broke his leg earlier, Corey Hill, years before, and uh, I, I'm I'm holding his shoulders on the ground and, and I look at his leg and his leg is like this and his foot's like this. And he asked, he goes, what happened Stitch, what happened? I said, man, Corey, you broke your leg, go ahead and scream as much as you want. And, uh, but what's, what was nice with that, to show you the heart of the warrior, uh, the gladiator, they shot him up with a couple shots of morphine before they put him on the stretcher and took him out. And as they had him on the stretcher, they're walking him out. He looks at me, he says, Stitch, I almost had him. You know, so to me, I think that was a very, very gallant part on his part. And then he was looking for his father, you know, so like say deep in heart, deep inside all these fighters, even though they're modern day gladiators, deep inside, they're all babies. And, and you got to look at them that way, too. And to any cuts, ever you surprise you anymore? Because at the start of your cut man career, did you ever get shocked when they had a massive cut over the eyebrow or on their cheek? Is there any cuts that are surprised you anymore or are you just used to it all by now? Yeah, they're all pretty, you know, I'm a cut is a cut nowadays, you know, and uh, I think I've seen them in just about every part of, of the face and, you know, to include the ears and or, or the head and, and even in the ear, you know, so uh, so I've seen that. And uh, I haven't worked on, on a couple cuts where uh, it was, you know, I think kickboxing MMA where the guys are doing the chin check and, and the, the bone on the shin, uh, you get a big cut there. Those are extremely hard to work on because because the cartilage is very thin and there's not, you can't apply, you can apply pressure, but it's very, very tough to close. 